Okay, these are little crazy problems, but let's put Lesson 65, Advanced Substitution. So we have a system of four equations, which is okay as long as we have four variables. Or four variables, we have to have four equations. So we're just going to start a substitution process that sometimes, sometimes is trial and error. We're going to pick one of our equations to be our base equations out of one of these four. We could either use A or B to be our base equation. And I think we're going to use um, equation B because I can replace this RB with this. Since RB equals 3RW, I can replace it. Now, hopefully, I don't have to restart this problem again. So I'm going to take this and put it in where RB is in this problem. If I use this equation to start, I would have to get RW by itself to be able to put it in. Or I would have to put get TW by itself to put it in. But well, you can do it different ways. Um, sometimes, sometimes you have to play with it for a while to get these. So I'm going to take RB and I'm going to replace it with 3RW TB equals 6. Now, TB is equal to 2TW. So I'm going to take my TB and I'm going to put in 2 minus TW. So we get 3 times RW. TB is the same as 2 minus TW. And that equals 6. These should work out like the next step, or else you might need to try a different base equation. Now, I'm going to distribute because we have parentheses, and we're going to get 6RW minus 3RW TW equals 6. Now, this works out perfectly. Do you see how we have RW TW right here? We can replace the RW TW by 6 since RW, TW equals 6. Now, as I said, there's not just one way to do this. So, 6 RW minus 3 times 6 equals 6. And look at that. We have it down to one equation, one unknown. So, it's 6 RW. This would be minus 18. If I add it to the other side, I get 24. And RW equals 4. Those are kind of cool. If it works out, you need to be able to get two variables together. You'll see in, in the next problem that we do. Um, we do have to go find the other thing. So if RW is 4, we can find TW. If this is 4, TW has to equal 6. I guess it doesn't have to equal 6. I'm going to write about that. Um, if that's 4, we would have um, we would have 4 TW equals 6. TW equals 6 fourths or 3 halves. So we're making our way up. So we have TW. We have RW. We need to get some other guys. We can get RB equals 3 RW. RW is 4. So it would be 3 times 4. RB equals 12. Got that one. And then we have to find TB. So TB equals 2 minus TW. So TB equals 2 minus 3 halves. So that's the same as one and a half. So TB equals one half. And we have it solved for all four variables. Let's try one more of these. Find the values of the four variables in this system of equations. So here we go. Same idea. You can do it different ways. But I'm thinking let's just do it the same way. It seemed to work out fine last time. So RP equals 3RC. So I'm going to take this RP and I'm going to put in there 3RC. 3RC, TP, 
equals 693. That's not a nice number to work with. Now we can, um, we need to replace RC or TP. TP needs to be rearranged, this equation needs to be rearranged to get TP by itself. So it's 12 minus TC. So 3 RC, TP is 12 minus TC equals 693. Distribute, so we get 36 RC minus 3 RC TC equals 693. So we use this equation, we use this equation, and we use this equation. The only one left is this one, and look how nicely this works. RCTC equals 165, and we have RCTC, so we will just put in there 165. And we're going to need to use our calculators. 36 RC minus 3 times 165 is 495 equals 693. Add 495 to both sides, we get 36 RC equals 1188. And if we divide both sides by 36, we get RC equals 33. And then you're just going to go back and substitute things in. So you put 33 in here, divide 165 by 33, and I'll just give you the answers for the other one. RP is going to be 99. Um, and TP is going to be 7, and TC turns out to be 5. I do have one for you to try, so here it is. Give it a try, and turn, turn it off, and then turn it back on to see if you got it right. I don't have the answers to these, so I'm going to do the problem. So, here we go. You'd want to see it anyway, right? Okay, I'm going to use this as my base equation because I already have R1 over here. I could use this as my base equation, but I would have to divide by 2, and then I would have a messy fraction. So, we prefer not to use fractions. So, R1 is equal to 2R minus 2. So, I'm going to put this in for R1 right over here. So, we get 2R sub 2 times T1 equals 120. Now let's get rid of this T1. We have to solve this one. T1 equals 6 minus T2. So we get 2, R2. T1 is 6 minus T2. And look, we're going to have an R2, T2. So all is going to be well in this problem. 120. So we get 12 R2 minus 2 R2, T2 equals 120. 12 R2 minus 2, and look, we have R2, T2 equals 120, so we're going to place this with 120 times 120 equals 120. And we're going to get 12 R2 minus 240 equals 120. Add 240 to both sides, so we get 12 R2 equals 0, 6, 360. This looks nice, so it comes out nicely. 12 goes into 36 three times, so R2 equals 30. And then you can get the other one without too much trouble. You can get R1 by multiplying that by 2, and et cetera, et cetera. So hopefully you enjoyed that lesson. That's all for lesson 65.